Hi, here we are again. We're here to show you another show. And uh, today we're going to make, uh, go ahead, Jenna. I'm going to make the pepperoni roll-ups. They are delicious. Wait till you see how easy. And I'm going to show you how to make your own dough. It's so easy, so simple. Your five-year-old can do it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show you how to make a spinach roll-up appetizers. But before we start, this is a little cookbook I put together as a shower favor. And this is what we want you to do. Enter with a happy heart. Okay? Hi, I am going to show you how to make your own pizza dough. And it's so simple. So, first of all, the most important thing is the temperature of the water. If your water is too warm, forget about it. It's never going to grow. It's, it's going to come flat. So, this is what I'll show you. We get this. You can get a whole package that lasts a whole year. You keep it in your freezer. It's Fletchman's yeast, and it's a lot less expensive than buying just a little package in the market. So you put one tablespoon of Fletchman's yeast in a bowl, right? That would be one package if you do buy it in the market. Right. One right. tablespoon sugar and one tablespoon of salt. You can put a little less if you're worried about the salt. This is sea salt from Italy, so. Oh, those are the big grains. Huh? Yeah, but it'll, it'll dissolve, so that's the sea salt from Italy. Put a little bit less. Put a little bit less. Yeah. Now, the next step. See this water? This is just room temperature. It's better to be a little cooler than warm because it'll, it'll rise better. So now I'm gonna put, uh, Oh, I got two cups. <laughs> yeah. I measured two cups of room temperature water. I'm going to pour that in this bowl. And I'm going to stir it until it dissolves. And then I'm going to put one tablespoon of olive oil. That's it, huh, Jeannie? That's it. Now the rest is the flour. You have to get an unbleached flour because it makes a much better pizza dough or bread dough. I use it all the time. So this is King Arthur, which is the best, but Gold Medal put one, puts one out on bleached flour, and so does Pillsbury. Pillsbury. So now I'm going to start adding two cups of the unbleached flour and start stirring it. Just start two cups at a time. And I'll tell you how many more cups, so you'll know. Yeah. Now that, so far, that's too two liquidy, cups. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got about six, usually. Yeah. See, this are little cups, a little smaller. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to put two more. There go. Okay, so that's four cups now. Now, so far, it's four cups. Two and two or four. Two and two or four. <laughs> See, we went to school. We, we went to school to we learn our arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> now they call it math. <laughs> math, yeah. Math. Oh, that's looking good. See, now it's starting. Yeah. We have one more cup and then we'll be putting our hands in it. I'll be putting, I'll show right. you. And I wash my hands, by the way. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put... One more cup and stir it and this is where you start to put your hands in it after I stir this one cup. So now, so far that's five cups and see, you can see where I'm going to have to be able to put my hands in it and I'll show you how you need it. It takes only two minutes, it don't take ten minutes take like some people right. say. So it's so simple and easy, oh, see? Oh, look at that, perfect. Right? Perfect. So now, what you do is you use the palm of your hand, like that, and you punch it, like that. You lift it up, like this. Lift it up, or you can go with your knuckles. Lift it up with your knuckles, or the palm of your hand. This is just about done. See how fast that was? By the time you waste gas, go to the store and buy it, 
You could do it in your own house, especially, and I'm going to sprinkle a little more flour here, about another half a cup, so all together it's about <laughs> oh, five and a half, Jeannie. Five and a half cups. Five and a half to six cups. Yeah. And this is all done. Yep. Now you want to get the two plastic bags. I'll show you okay. how, you, how yeah. this will rise right in your refrigerator overnight. If you don't want it to rise the same day, you have to cover it. If you want it to rise the same day, I'll cover it uh, with a cloth and uh, it'll take an hour to rise. But this will rise in your refrigerator. It'll be so easy to handle. See? Look. Look at perfect. it. Perfect. It, it looks Look perfect, it. Jean. It's looks beautiful. Perfect. It's beautiful. Now you'll get two, that's like two pounds, I'll get what's about that? three pounds. About three pounds out of that. Okay. okay, so throw this in here. Throw it in here. We double bag it. You throw it in the oh, pla right. a clean plastic bag, right? Right, now you double bag it. Yeah, yes. I like to do. double bag it in case there's a hole in the bag. <laughs> exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And you tie it at the top. That's important because it needs air to grow. So you can't tie it at the bottom. You tie it at the top, Throw it in your refrigerator, and the next day or a couple of hours, you'll be able to just roll it through, spread it out, and make it. And that's our lesson for today on making your own dog. <laughs> now, these are the pepperoni roll-ups. These are so popular. Uh, the kids love them. You make them, and if you make a bowl of them, believe me, they go in no time at all. And they're not too hard to make, really. They're not too hard to they make. They go crazy the first, over these. They go crazy. Take them right? to a lunch, oh. and a football game, a oh. party or something. Oh, my goodness. They go and crazy. my sons, oh, they love them. And my grandchildren. Are you oh, kidding? Yeah. My grandchildren, too. They oh, are you right, Jeannie? Yeah. yeah. Now, I just lightly greased the pan. Okay, I like because we pit. use Crisco, it's easier. Oh, exactly. Uh, you have to. Use, you can use oil because if you use oil, the dough is going to slide all over and you'll never get anywhere. Yeah. This way, it spreads. It spreads beautifully. Now I have tomato here, tomato sauce. I have pepperoni, all cut up, and I have cheddar cheese. It's the um, Shana, it's the shop. Yeah. It's the shop cheddar cheese. That's I always use it. shop. You have to use that shop cheddar yeah, cheese. Yeah, otherwise it comes bland. And yeah. cheddar cheese, I find, is the best. Mozzarella, not, no. not good at no. all. So you have to use kind of cheddar, which is delicious. Okay, now, right. now I'm going to give cheddar. me look the dough. This is the dough. I took it out of the refrigerator. I made this one last night. I showed you how to make the other one. Now we're going to use this one that I made last night. Exactly. Okay. And the it's, other one has. It's already has. Yeah. Yeah. Right, gonna give me so that. now I peel it right away, and I'm going to give her half and save half of mine. Okay, Jilda. Yeah. You yeah. think that's enough, or you need a little more? Oh, I think I need a little more. All yeah. right. I'll give you a little bit more. more. And you know what I need? The cutter, Jane. I didn't take my I cutter. I got a cutter. Yeah, Pads put your it. hand to the little bit of flour. Yeah, I do need the flour. You have to use your, a little bit of flour on your hands. Excuse me. Are you off, Pop? Here we are. I told you about the pepperoni all sliced. I cut this all up. I buy the block of uh, cheddar, sharp cheddar, extra sharp cheddar, and I cut it up into little squares like this. Now I have this wonderful dough that we just took out of the refrigerator, and I am going to spread it, okay? It spreads so easy. It spreads and easy. It goes right into the corner there and right here. And any holes, I'm going to plug them up. <laughs> I'll plug them up, right, Jeannie? Yep. yep. Okay, that's one thing Jeannie and I have is a sense of humor. Yeah, we uh, you have to in this business unless you're a professional <laughs> and you have all so, these people working for you, right, Jeannie? Right. So boring. Yeah, and it's boring. You have to enjoy what you're doing. Exactly. Exactly. That you need more dough to pack? I don't know, know Jeannie. Yeah, I, 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 I might need it because I'm spreading it too thin. All right. Yeah. I'll I'll here's some more of my dough. Oh, here's more of your dough. All right, I'm going to put this enough. right over here. I should have enough. Okay. Now i got enough. Now yeah. you Now, better. see, i got to fill in all those little bare spots. All right, so this is what you do. It's very easy. This dough is very, very easy to spread. You have, to, does the, you have to understand, we're the professional unprofessionals. Unprofessionals. <laughs> but you know what? 
It comes Taste out good. Uh, delicious. <laughs> Whatever we make, pe we meet people, Hanji. Oh, we yeah. meet people and they go, oh, if I could only be there to taste it. Okay. What have I got here? Yeah. Too much. Not enough. All right. I got All right. That a little looks bit good. here. All right. This, uh, you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm going to cut all these. Yeah. I'm going to cut all these. Looks good. Looks good. Now I'm going to cut it. I'm going to make little squares. Wait a minute. I need a little bit over here. <laughs> I need Marcus a little see, bit. Uh, see. I'm catching. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right here. Perfect. Perfect. Right there. All right, now. Where's the cutter, Dean, you know, or the knife or whatever? I have to use a knife. I haven't got a cutter. I'll downstairs. use a knife then. Okay. The cutter's downstairs. All right. Okay, now I'm going to cut them in little squares, okay? Now you watch, because when this rises, it's just beautiful. So yeah. I'm going to cut along this way, like this, make four strips like this, That's right. okay, and now I'm going to make little squares, see, just little squares like that. They're about four inch squares. Four inch, huh, Jean? Yeah. I, I don't measure, but it's about I four can, inches. I can, I used to sew, so I know. <laughs> you know <laughs> my inches. <laughs> you know, you know your inches. <laughs> okay, there you go, look at that, perfect. This one's a little thick, so I might add it to something else. All right, now this is simple. First, the first thing we do, I'll show you just part of this, and then I'll finish uh, uh, by myself. Just put a little bit with a spoon like this. Just put a little bit. If you put too much, it's going to come out. It's going to wet the dough, and you won't be able to close it. So you've got to be very careful with the tomato, but you know what? You need the tomato. It gives oh, it yeah. that little taste. So this is what I do with the rest of them. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing I do is I put the cheese down first. To me, that's important because the cheese melts. The cheese melts. So if you put it first, it, it, it'll take that little bit longer. And if you have a big piece, find a, find a thick one so that you can... Um, take care of putting enough, okay? Here we go. Now I continue doing this until I'm all done. Jean, you wanna help me? Let yeah. me get it done. Okay, I finished, and Jeannie helped me put the cheese on top. Now I take, these are thin, so I take two pieces of pepperoni, and I put them on the top. You'd be surprised, these are like, once you start on these, they're like peanuts, it's marvelous. So I'm putting two slices on each one of these because they're kind of thin. And there it is. Now if they were bigger, if the squares were bigger, I would put more. But the squares are not that big. But they will come beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now the trick is you can, um, these are appetizers, but I make them all the time. <clears throat> I save them, you can freeze them. They, it's just like you just made them. All right. Perfect, yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you how to roll them now. Oh. You just take a corner, like that. And you take another corner like that, and another corner, and another corner. Look at that. I got all corners. Make sure it's all closed up, and switch it over. Very simple. And the oven's on 450 degrees, right? Right. 450 for around 10 minutes. Check it. I always check it, because every oven is different. So it's good to check it. Now, make sure. Look at that. There's 24 in here, and they're all done. All I have to do now is brush them with, I've got um, corn oil here, Mazzola corn oil. Now, you can use um, uh, olive oil, but I find they get darker, and uh, they look better when it comes to um, color. So that's why I'm using the Mazzola corn. And I'm just dripping it a little bit like that on top. 
and, and it's perfect. ready for the oven. And they'll be ready about, I'm going to check them at 10 minutes. If they're not done, I'll let them stay another two, three minutes, whatever. But I'll let you know, okay? That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to make spinach little roll-ups. And they're so good, spinach pie roll-ups. This is frozen mozzarella <clears throat> for the simple reason. If you want to shred mozzarella, you shred it frozen like this. And it's going to be one of our ingredients. It's going to be delicious. So I'm going to shred some of this to go in. Okay. See how nice? Mm -hmm. Okay. I put one of my other ingredients. Chopped pepperoni. I got these little pieces of pepperoni and I cut them in small pieces. So you get the flavor all over. That gives them a nice... Pepperoni. You don't have to use pepperoni no. if you're a vegetarian. Right. But the pepperoni does give it a nice flavor. I do not put salt in it because between the cheese and the pepperoni, and this is this is my shredded Asiago cheese. Asiago cheese is so delicious. It makes everything With spinach. so good. It's so good. It's yeah, like people do it on top and it gets crusty. I these are my chopped olives. Instead of me buying small cans, I bought one big can of, of olives and I put it in the blender and I chopped it all up. So now I'll use half of this and I'll save half for another time. Perfect. And now this is one package of frozen chopped spinach. Now the only thing I'm going to do with this is squeeze the water out. It's thawed out. And this is going to be for our spinach. Now I want to take the, all the water out of here. It's still got a, it's a little frozen still, but it'll be all right. There's not too much water in this one. No, because I already took some See, out. I, I did. <laughs> I put my hand in there, and I squeeze all the water out. Okay? Now, I'm going to put the chopped pepperoni. Nice. These are about, I don't know, 10 slices. Mm. Uh... I need crushed garlic. Jill, do you want to help me crush some garlic? Sure. You've got to put garlic in it. Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put yeah. half of the olives, black olives, chopped. Put half of them in there. I, I'm going to put my Asio, Asiago cheese. Put that in there. See, this is what gives it flavor. Okay. Can you do this? Yeah. And then I'm going to put some olive oil. But first I'm going to stir this up a little with my hands. That's okay. I'm mixing it. Did you want another olive uh, another oh, garlic? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to want another garlic. 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 All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yes, yes, get yes. The garlic. <clears throat> I have peeled it already. Yep, it's all peeled, so it's easy for me to do. It's okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Okay, now this is the mozzarella, the frozen mozzarella that I shredded. See how nice it comes? So I'm going to put that in there so you'll get a nice even, right? And then I'm going to pour some olive oil in there, a couple of tablespoons. And that's my mixture. And it's all ready to go. All right, so now I'm greasing this, my pan, with some Crisco. And I need a little bit of flour, Jilda. Yeah, right here. This is my, sometimes you can put cornmeal, too, when you're making a pizza. Um, like, yes, I, I, I noticed that, Jamie. Like, I do it once in a while, when I yeah. remember. When I remember. So I'm <laughs> sprinkling a little flour so it won't stick, too. Oh, okay. and now I'm going to spread this. Look how beautiful it spreads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so wonderful. easy. Dope. I know how, I can't throw it up in the air. That's the only thing. <laughs> But it's if you tried, it might go on the floor, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever, whatever. So I'm going to spread this to a more. nice, to yeah. nice uh, spread. This has got to be about a pound of dough. That's about a pound. I yeah. think I had a little bit more, Jean. Yeah, you had a little I more. I had a little bit more. I gave you some of mine. No, I know. <laughs> You're so generous in <laughs> telling you. What would I do without you? Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay? Perfect. Now I'm going to show you. See, that's as thin as I spread it. Because I don't want us to get too thin. So, we'll go, go, go. so now I'm going to cut, uh, let me see, how many strips should I cut? Three strips. Oh, you're going to cut, cut three, three right. strips. Okay? Because this is going to roll. Mm. Now, I'm going to show you how I'll do the first one, and then we'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you after what's going to happen. After you just spread some of this. I, I like them a little full. I don't like them too all doughy. Right, right. Okay. You can see the cheese and the pepperoni mm, in them. Are you kidding? All right, now see, I put my my uh, stuff in, spinach stuff in in the in this middle. Now you got to pick it up like this, like a jelly roll, and just pull it. Pick it up and pull it. The dough stretches. It, it stretches, stretches beautiful. Yeah. This dough is so much better than the one in the bakery shop. Yeah. I'm sorry, I have to tell you that. Especially some of them. Oh my God. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do before I put them in the oven. I'll I'll do them later. I just want to show the cameraman so we have enough time. This is what you do as an appetizer. You cut them like this and you can stand them up like that. How cute is that? And you can see the little bit of spinach in it. And I'm not nice. done yet because I'm going to put some Asiago cheese on the top of them too. Right. And it'll right. melt all over. Perfect. And these yeah. are going to be delicious spinach appetizers. I love anything with spinach in it. Oh, spinach is healthy for you, too. Yeah. Now you've got your olives in there, you've got your cheese. And yeah. The only pepperoni. thing that might not be so good is the pepperoni, but yeah. you know what? A little taste is good. Yeah, now see, what this is what I'm going to do with this. I just want to show you. Put a little bit of Asiago, Asiago cheese. It gets so to toasty on top, and it comes so good. Okay. And I will be popping mine in the oven too. So mm. Jill, do you better check yours? I did. I just did, and they as little appetizers. If you don't want them as an appetizer, you could leave them long like this and then cut them after. But this, they look so cute like this. I love them. And then yeah. you put the cheese on top, which Perfect. wait till you see when they're all done. Cute. Yeah. Can't wait to taste them. Okay, and we're, I'm going to be putting these in the oven now. The oven. Here I am with my pepperoni roll-ups. Oh my goodness, they look so good and they taste even better. And I had to tell you about this pan. This pan was my mother's and uh, I've been using it. It's the only pan I use for pizza or pizza roll-ups or whatever. I have two of them like this. They're way over 60, 70 years old. And they make the best pizza, nice and crispy and perfect. But there you go. I'm going to put them in the plate now while Jeannie's spinach rolls are cooking. Okay. You know what brute ma betty means in <laughs> Italian? Well, I'm going to show you. Brute ma betty wine biscuits that are so simple. You don't have to roll because I had six kids. I didn't have time to roll. So this is the easy way and they're so delicious. And all it is, is this is a uh, homemade wine. You can use white wine too. So this is a cup they come of light. Yeah. And these come a little well, purpley. Yeah. yeah. One cup of wine. One cup of sugar. One cup of oil. Right? That's it. And Bill is going to put the baking powder. You think I'm crazy? Four tablespoons of baking powder. I can't believe it, This Jean. is such a simple, simple recipe. You don't need your egg beater or your beater or anything. I call it the egg beater. It's a beater. Mixer. Hand mixer, <laughs> mixer. Would you say four, right? Yeah, three. Don't make sure you measure four. Four. There's four. All right, now I'm going to start with the flour. I think it's four cups because you know I never measure, but I'm going to measure today for you. <laughs> All right, where's my little measuring cup over here? Ooh. All right, I'm going to. And this is, oops, 
unbleached flour. Remember, oh, yeah. because if you use the like the the all-purpose, uh, no, no, it's more no, like no. a cake. You mean the bleached flour? No, this is the unbleached. If you use the yeah, the bleached bleach, or all-purpose, yeah, whatever all they purpose, call it. Yeah, yeah well, it says all-purpose <coughs> on it, but yeah, that's two cups so far. Stirring it up, stirring it up. I see the purple. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> see these these are. I'm not filling these cups up enough. That's almost three. Mm -hmm. Put them on. Yeah. That'll make three. Okay? okay. I'm gonna put four cups all together. Okay. See how this takes us. You might need five. I don't know. I never measure. Time. I can, I go by my eye. <laughs> I know, and you have a good eye. Yeah, <laughs> good eye, good eye, good eye, good eye. Paper bag. <laughs> <clears throat> see, you can see it's still it's wet. It's too moist. So right? that's four cups. So now I'm gonna put so one more cup. One more. And I think that might do it. Now I need. You know what? You can get me a tablespoon. Yeah, right here. No, not that what one. You mean the a one, big spoon? Big spoon. Yeah, <clears throat> a soup spoon or whatever. Okay, this is five cups. Okay? Is that good enough, Jimmy? Yeah, that's yeah. all right. Ruti ma bene. Ugly but good. And they're nice and crispy. Oh, yeah. yeah. The trick is, after you uh, shut your oven off, if you want them to get nice and hot and, and crunchy, you have to leave them in the oven and leave them there for a while, and they finish getting nice and hard and crunchy. That looks better. That this was is what, done. Five cups. Five cups, five and it's cups. perfect. Look it's at that. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. See? Mm -mm. It's all ready. Mm -hmm. All ready, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Oh, you know what? Okay, you get a scoop with a tablespoon, and you just drop them like this. Easy, Jean. No rolling. No roll, but you can roll and make the oh, you biscuit. Can. You, yeah, you, you want to be fancy? Go ahead. ahead. You got the you time. Can be fancy, but this you got is the easy. time. I don't. <laughs> people do that. Some people do it. Yeah, absolutely. They taste just yeah. as good. Mhm. Mm okay, now so you know how many you get out of there. Mm -hmm. These. This is my second pan over here. And if you're going to make them, you might as well make a lot, and you can keep them in a, a plastic type container, and mm. they stay. They last. They oh, last. They last. But, it, but although the other night everybody ate them all, <laughs> they were all gone at our meat. Okay, here they are. These are our, are not pepperoni roll ups, these are our spinach roll ups. These oh, come from geez, a nice little so appetizer. Cute. You can see. Look at how they cute. get nice and golden and everything, mm. and they're going to taste good. Are you kidding? And in the meantime, our wine biscuits are in the oven. 350 degree oven. I load the oven for about 20 minutes and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay? And I kept in for about 15 minutes yeah. because your oven is different than mine. Everybody's that. oven is different. When you see them, they're done. <laughs> yeah. You can. Okay, we're here with the finished product the pepperoni biscuits. Biscuits, the pepperoni rolls, my drink. It's only orange juice, Joe. We don't now drink it. I want to day. fool them. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, spinach roll ups. And these are great appetizers to make. And these are our Glute Ma Benny wine biscuits. And believe me, they taste just as good as if you rolled them all. It took a long time yourself. Take a long time. And it's such a right. simple recipe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ciao. Ciao. Salud. Ciao. <laughs> See you again. <laughs> mm. Mm.